My lord, we're just one step away from freedom. As we pass through the gate, no one will be able to stop us. So this hostage is useless now. Kill him, Mok He's getting away. Do something, Jiao Cho. It's just like the old days, you useless loser. Just do something! Maybe this Yao Qing messenger can strike a deal in exchange for his life. He can use his status to help us escape from the Xianzhou. What do you think, Mr. Jiao Cho? <laughs> oh, just look at you. Fallen so low during my absence. You're even negotiating with livestock. As far as I recall, no one from the Yao Qing would ever consider a deal with Duran's offspring. I've got to make this beast stay here, whether it's for the sake of Fei Shao or the Yao Qing. Deal. I certainly have more value alive. My identity, my knowledge of the Xianzhou, and my understanding of many things that your minions have no knowledge of. They'll all be valuable. <laughs> Lonely beast. Muster up that pitiful tongue of yours and plead for what remains of your life. I'm afraid you're unaware. The woman who defeated you, Jing Liu, she has recently returned to the Law Fu. Your opportunity for revenge is right in front of you. My lord, this slave is talking nonsense. I've never heard anything about this. May I just kill him now? Silence, Mok Talk. And you, slave. From now on, you'll stay by my side. You'll only speak and move when I allow you to. Otherwise, I'll dismember you from head to tail, inch by inch. Got it? But, my lord... We must stay here for some time, Mok Talk. Fear not. Because once I step out of the prison, it's the people of the Xianzhou who should tremble in fear. I'll show them what true collect- Now, Duran's whelps, follow me! It too shall fall. 